<laughs> Here, he leads a group of athletes on the common button relay in his country. Moses Kipsiro, a double Commonwealth gold medalist, is one of Uganda's elite athletes. The 27-year-old will not represent his country at the World Half Marathon this weekend in Denmark. Officials claim the athlete is ill. Even during Africa cross country, he competed when he was not in a good position as usual. So that's why me as a technical coach, I advise the federation because he's a champion, he's a world champion. Advice I said he should, since he's not yet fit, he was on treatment, we cannot send him for a big championship when he's not fit. Because when he performed full power, every Uganda wants to know what happened to him. But Kipsiro, who captained the national team at the Africa Coast Country Championships earlier this month, dismisses the claims. In a phone interview, he told CCTV he was neither injured nor ill, contrary to claims by the local federation. This at the time when the athlete played a whistleblower's role, accusing authorities of sexual harassment against female runners, allegations the authorities deny. These allegations are criminal in nature, but also ethical in nature. So, we have a two-pronged approach. Those allegations that are criminal in nature, the law of this country should take course. We are also going to handle the ethical issues of coaching. And to handle them effectively, we are putting in place an independent commission that will investigate. No coach has been apprehended yet, but the authorities maintain Kipsiro can only make his way back upon full recovery. This is the first reported case of sexual harassment in Uganda's athletics, and the local federation is set to launch an investigation into the matter. But with Uganda registering more success on the track, authorities will want to limit the damage caused by the allegations. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala.